This video presents an all-laser refractive surgery procedure for correction of high myopia and myopic astigmatism. A 34-year-old woman, complaining of progressive intolerance to contact lenses, inquired about the possibility of laser vision correction. Examination revealed the best corrected visual acuity of 9 tenths in the right eye, with a myopic correction of minus 8.75 diopters, while in the left eye, 1010 was achieved with minus 7 minus 1.5 at 180 degrees. A moderate papillary reaction was seen in the conjunctiva of both upper eyelids. But no other signs of chronic contact lens use were seen. Fundus examination was normal. After corneal evaluation by pentacam analysis, all safety calculations regarding final keratometry and residual stroma bed were performed and a surgical plan was devised. The patient favored laser vision correction over a fake IOL surgery, so we explained our proposed technique of PRK in the right eye, and femdo LASIK in the left eye. We did not aim to do a full correction of this eye, as in order to ensure a safe and stable refraction we calculated the theoretical maximum to be 8.25 diopters of correction. This will leave the patient with a residual myopia of 1 diopter, which will not hinder the binocular distance vision and will much improve the intermediate vision when presbyopia arrives in the late 40s. To perform the laser vision correction, we will be using the Hawken Wavelight EX500 XMR laser. Such unit has one of the fastest operating frequencies, allowing a correction time of about 1.4 seconds per diopter. For the LASIK technique, we will create a corneal flap using the Zemer femtosecond laser unit. Laser will be applied using a maneuverable handpiece which is docked into the cornea via the application of vacuum, and under direct visualization of the surgeon. It uses extremely high frequency, low energy pulses, allowing the creation of customized thin flaps and improved recovery time. We will begin with the PRK procedure in the right eye. The first step is of course to input and review all Finally, a soft bandage contact lens is applied in order to reduce post-operative discomfort and improve corneal epithelium regrowth. The PRK procedure is now complete. Now moving on to the left.